Hello and welcome to another episode of Forts and today we're going to be playing around with some more indefinitely upgradable devices and, and also the weapons because those, those are the best the best kind of devices and I'm uh, probably going to go with an earlier game rush because I kind of like the idea of taking the uh, traditionally weaker weapons and turning them into super weapons capable of flattening and uh, really just destroying absolutely everything. So we're going to go ahead and see what kind of shenanigans we can get down to here. It looks like everyone's going for the additional mines and such I suppose that's uh, the way to go when we've got indefinite upgrades going on and of course the overdrive commander for additional upgrade speed because otherwise waiting for those upgrades takes many 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 minutes let me go ahead and bring on down the uh, f8 menu so we can see the list of players and the time i kind of i kind of really like having the clock there usually I, I just used to have like an external clock just a, just a stopwatch on the side so i could see what's going on but j just having that up there is i i, I think it's better for you guys that so you gotta actually see what's going on here so i'm gonna go ahead and put down this storage and then start working on turbines and kind of hope that they don't they don't do anything to shoot at me because i, I kind of want to get all of the things now, obviously, like, it would be really easy to just shoot me here and I don't have any means of fighting back because I don't have technologies and getting these upgrades takes a long time and costs a lot of resources and uh, that's just a regular gun. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to kind of just, just build up almost almost like a mutually agreement, almost like a mutual agreed treaty where no one shoots at each other for a little while. Yeah, it looks like it's what we're going to have going on here for the moment. So let's go ahead and capitalize on that. We'll get rid of this guy, move him to the back like so just to get him out of the way i'll do the same thing with the battery get this guy out of the way too because we don't need him here and continue moving up up and out to bigger and better and brighter and more swift resources as we, we need more we're, we're greedy it looks like we're going to have a pretty some pretty dense meddling over here we need some pretty dense armor that's good to look out for got a lot of turbines up here and some no turbines out of my teammate, but it looks like he's going to be probably going for that super upgraded sniper. I uh, probably saw a relatively recent video, wanted to, to, to do the same thing, which is fine by me. So let's go ahead and set up this here, get our framework to start defending these turbines. Not that we really need it right now, but you know, just in case. Like so. And then I want to put down one more battery. Let's go ahead and put you here get a little bit of defense. I'm gonna put my, you know, I'm gonna do gunners this time. So I'm gonna put my gunners way out here and then put an additional layer. So I'm gonna put this guy right there. Yes, much better. That should help. Let me even do this. There we are. So I have three gunners. So I hit one and two and, ooh, no, let's not, let's not put them here. Uh, can, oh, but if I don't put them, all right, I'm gonna put them there because I don't trust my teammate to, uh, well, stay as low as he is and not build higher because if I build him down here which would be the safer location my teammate could just build up and then they're really very in the way which I don't want so I'm gonna just start defending here like so build all this out yeah that sounds like a lot of defense out of teammates and then we need to upgrade these guys get them into their minigun form their true potential released and then make sure this is covered up so nothing is seen I don't know what the opponents are going for. They haven't revealed anything exceptional. But it's not a missile rush, so I don't have to worry about that. And we've got at least a little while before any kind of cannons or heavy weapons come out. So we'll go ahead and spend some on getting these. Just to have them protected, nice and safe from things. And then work on upgrading our, our mines. We want to try to hit that 50 metal income because we're going to need it if we're upgrading three dudes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, maybe not a good idea to upgrade all three of them, but we'll, we'll see what comes out to. If you guys are, if you guys aren't familiar, the uh, upgrades, uh, as nice as they are, they get kind of exponentially less useful, at least by comparison to the cost. They become exponentially less cost-effective. So for something like a minigun that doesn't do very well against armors, oh dear. Uh, all right, well, time to defend against these. Don't want to get ourselves EMP'd into oblivion. There we go. For something like miniguns that don't do well versus armor, we definitely want to make sure that we have multiple of them. Because for a sniper, there's no way to stop the sniper without taking damage. But for miniguns, you can do things like use energy shields. You do things like slant your armor. And then I kind of kind of stuck and had to find another way of going about it. Otherwise, it, it literally does zero damage. Um, 
So to avoid that, I'm going to be building multiple and try to burn down the opponents before they have an opportunity to really stop the damage that's coming in. As at the moment they stop it hard, like a full stop, then there's, there's no coming back. I don't really want to reveal what I'm doing here. Not until it's too late to respond. And of course, despite all of these turbines, we do not have enough economy, or at least energy energy income to sustain our increased metal upgrading. I'll try to get the shot off without killing my dudes. Yeah, there we go. Let's just kind of shoot over the heads of my friend. Try to get a little bit of harassment in there. Blow up whatever that was. That looked like a gunner. So nothing terribly important. Just enough to keep him, keep his head down. Go ahead and upgrade this guy and this guy too. Much better. Now that they're all on the same level. Keep the upgrades going. So now that these are getting really expensive, I'm definitely going to put the double doors on this. Here we go. We could definitely expect to be getting hit by some heavy weapons real soon here. Uh, usually I'd expect to get hit sooner, but it seems everyone seems to be going for a more economic focus. So this is going to give us a little bit more leeway, which is nice. A little bit more time to build things up. It's enjoyable. It really is, because I get to show off these cool little contraptions that normally don't work. And come on with the upgrades. Wow, that's already so expensive. Okay, let's go ahead and get one of these going. Just a little bit extra defense, so I could really pile on the metal and face tank whatever comes to, comes to knock me down. There we go. Select you, drag you up, and connect here. Very nice. Now he's still coming at me with those. This is fine. He's got a really tall base, so I'll be, I should be able to knock it down pretty easily. Let's go ahead and get an additional couple of storage caps here. How much does this cost to upgrade? That's definitely worth an upgrade. Is this the same thing? Ooh, that's actually... I don't think that's worth the upgrade, is it? I'm not sure if that's worth the upgrade. We'll find out. How much additional storage does that give? It doesn't doesn't tell me. Uh, we'll find out in a moment. It gives me... Let's see, 300... I think that was worth it. Alright, alright. That was that was worth it. It, gives, it gave me a, 120, which is just... A little less than half, which is fine for the storage amount it gives. Let's go ahead and upgrade this next set. We're back to green, so we're gonna have some real serious damage coming out whenever these whenever these land. I just want to save up as much as I can before firing them, because the moment I fire them is the moment they start getting defenses against it, and these guys could just be shut down pretty quickly here. It's usually the reason why minigunners aren't used. They're so simple to shut down. All right, so they're they're bringing out the heavy weapons now. I, I gotta I gotta start firing. I can't I can't let them live any longer. All right, let's go. Top base, get chopped. Yeah, yeah, that did a fair amount of damage. At, at least I'd say. Go ahead, put this up here. Go ahead and repeat a little bit lower. Try to take his bottom out. Yep. Yeah, he's having a he's having a bad time. He built very tall, and it's gonna give him a little bit of problems. So we'll do we'll give him a moment of reprieve while we super upgrade. Wow, we don't have the economy. Despite 90 metal per second, we do not have the economy to keep up with this. That's 300 metal per upgrade on these guys. It's kind of a lot, huh? That's that's really very much so a lot. But hopefully the burst damage of all three will be sufficient to knock down the base. We just got a lot of upgrades. Look, he's trying to build slanted metal there. I, can we do it before it's too late? Whoa! All right, so we're turning his base into Swiss cheese is what we're doing here. I mean, that's looking real rough. And the next shot comes through. Just It's just every bullet to it. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. The door was still open. We lost one, guys. Oh, dear. Did we get a couple more upgrades on it? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay, we, 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 it looks like we're going to get chopped down to just kind of one super minigun here, because we may not be able to keep up with this. The upgrades are already costing 360 metal each. Oh dear, oh my. Okay. We're down to two minigunners. And a whole lot of pain. And he's gone! Straight to the core! Oh dear. My friend...
He hasn't made it. Let's upgrade these guys again. Oh my lord, it's costing 800 metal to do both of these guys. Alright, I can't upgrade anymore. I don't have the metal for it. Alright, come on, come on, come on, upgrade. Come on. 420 each. 420 blaze it. Alright, alright, upgrades. Level, we've got this, this many levels on it. Hopefully this is going to do enough. We are breaking metal left at- Okay! That- that just shot him down real quick. Welcome to minigunners. And we're off to round two, so we'll go ahead and try out the minigun. Uh, you know what? Yeah, Let, let's let's do one super minigun this time. Uh, I do want to be extremely careful with this because, as we saw last round, the uh, minigun didn't didn't survive being shot. So we'll need to be real careful because otherwise we could lose all of our investment real quick and be reset to well ground zero. But we're gonna go ahead and try it again. Uh, uh, hopefully we can get a much more single upgraded weapon this time. Oh dear, somebody watches my videos. Seems like an AP sniper straight to the heart could finish him off. That is one of the downsides. Like, as for as much as I do this whole sell thing, uh, anytime you sell off the armor in front of your core, you leave yourself vulnerable to upgraded snipers. So if I were to do something like throw down an upgrade center right now and build one AP sniper, then the, I could just end the game that quick. That's uh, one of the easiest ways to counter all of this and as you guys know anytime you're trying to do a rush suddenly having to spend 400 plus metal anywhere is a good way of making sure that you don't get to build your heavy weapons so well, let's just keep that in mind but I'm going to be nice I'm going to let him I'm going to let him build up his armor and stabilize the speaking of which let's go ahead and turn on the uh, clock and continue our way forward now, I did see that he threw down his upgrade center, so I'm going to be careful with what I'm doing here. And I'm going to build my armor in front, that way I don't get shot the same way I was just talking about. It actually looks like he's going to go ahead and defend himself as well. So while an AP sniper upgraded a couple times, to still get through that. That's not what we're going for right now. Let's go ahead and sell this off, move this back here, get a little bit of defense in front. Like so. Much better. Go ahead and move this up as well. And we will put our faded gunner right here. He will be the one, the only, the supreme bullet sponge. I mean, uh, bullet flinger. Bullet flinger, that's that's what I meant to say. Alright, so we already have some upgrades coming out of them. We're good. Let's go ahead and build this up here. Set up our turbine defense. Just to keep them safe. Go ahead and upgrade him so that we can see where that process is going. Have all the hitboxes in their right locations. Set up some ropes. Let's go ahead and do this, like so. And then connect to here. Can I connect it there? No, that's going to be too much in the way. Right here. That'll do it nicely. Set up another one of these. A little bit of blockage from my teammate, but that's fine. That's kind of how this map works. Gonna. You do have to expect it, though. He could put another mine right there, which would actually help the wind cone on my turbines. Let's get these upgrades going. Two. I actually need to put another battery down here. Three. I need more energy! This many turbines isn't still not enough turbines. Oh dear. Oh my. I should probably just upgrade these turbines first, because clearly we're not doing enough. Alright. Come on. Upgrades coming out of everyone. That's one of the joys of this mod. I, I like this mod only because it lets us upgrade to ridiculous amounts. Oh dear. Okay then. They've got a gunner coming around. So let's go ahead and slant our armor a bit. Like so and like so. Not the, so we, we certainly have metal to spare. That's that's for sure. I'm going to go ahead and build a 2x2 two two box out here. And do this. And then this. And now we wait. For more metal. I'm gonna upgrade all of these guys. Come on. And then you. 
Much better. Oh, he's going for my turbines. That's what the energy shield is for. Just shut that down real quick. Alright, so I definitely want this, like so. And you know what? Let's, let's do it down. Just to make sure that those bullets don't get anywhere. And then I definitely need this, like so. Turn this into background bracing. I'll go ahead and change the armoring layout a little bit later. Like so, to keep him safe. Now we have slanted armor everywhere except down here. And that should be enough for that. Now we start the upgrades here. Do I want to upgrade these guys one more time? I think I want to upgrade the guys one more time before I start going crazy on it. Let's just convert all this to background. Much better. Because we're going to be getting hit by some, what seems to be a fairly upgraded minigun pretty quickly here. Let's upgrade you and you and you. And we do not have enough energy! Alright, this is fine too. Okay, cannon. Yep, five minutes. That was a typical cannon rush. Alright, let's go ahead and because we now have our commander ability active, start going crazy. Also means you want to be real careful about all of our wood here. In fact, we don't want it to be wood. We want it to be metal. Let's do this. Upgrade you. Good. Upgrade you. Very good. We need more doors. That's the answer to life and everything in it. Oh dear. Oh my. Um, hmm. That wasn't enough slants, was it? No, it was not. Let's have those bullets ricocheting everywhere, please. Upgrade. Almost enough to activate commander ability again. Just one more hit and we should be good. All we have to do is just just take one more hit and we'll be alright. Hmm, yeah, that's still doing damage to our armor. That's not ideal. Add one more door to keep him safe. And we're gonna have a super upgraded minigun coming out here pretty quickly. Oh dear, oh my. Alright, let's send this straight to his bottom, shall we? Right after these doors finish building. One more upgrade? One more upgrade. I just, I can't get enough of these upgrades, they make me so happy. Okay, let's go ahead and put an energy shield right here. Cover this up a little bit. Add some little extra wooden bracing there. Alright, let's do this. One shot straight to his bottom. Oh dear, oh my. Uh, that didn't stop the bullets. Let's go ahead and do that then. Okay, try this once more. A little higher. Oh yeah, that's good. It seems that these upgraded miniguns still do a f fair amount of damage to uh, slanted armor, despite the armor being significantly slanted, which is unexpected. But I suppose better than... Oh yeah. That's doing a lot of damage. At least the energy shields are working out, working well. Upgrade all the things! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. I don't... He's... He's... He's purple! We need to bring him beyond purple. But I don't think we're gonna have the... Yeah, we don't... We don't have the metal income for this. Let's... Get some of those going. Alright. He now costs... Oh, 1,500 energy to fire. It's kind of a lot. All those doors are closing. We're good. Oh dear. Teammate, please do not follow me, teammate. I kind of need you to not follow me. That would be great. A little bit lower for you. Oh! Oh! Oh, we got it to his core. His core is very exposed. Another shot like that and he won't be able to survive. Oh, but Top has got multiple cannons now. This is not ideal. Not ideal in the slightest. Alright, we've, we've come back around. Come on. Oh jeez, it's so it's so good, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Come on. Come on, right to the court. Oh yes. Very good, much better. Right, we'll upgrade this guy while we're, while we're at it. 
and keep going. Go beyond! Beyond the upgrades. Oh, okay, so we're back to green. We know what green did when we had the sniper out. This is gonna be a lot. Come on. Oh god, it costs so much. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, he almost door sniped my dude. That can't be allowed. That absolutely can't be allowed. Now that we only have cannons to worry about, I can go back to turning this into wood. Because bouncing is not terribly needed for cannons, because cannons don't really do much in the way of bouncing. Let's start taking everything out. At least we're back up to 100 metal per second. Still not enough. Still not enough to keep up with the insane amount of resources he needs. Come on. Okay, come on. There we go. 660 metal and a single upgrade. Oh, God. It's so much. We don't even have enough metal. He takes 262 metal to fire. All right. Aim as high as we can go. Okay. Yes, that was a much better shot. <gasps> do it. Do it. Do it. Burned out. Bur oh, he caught it. He caught it. All right. Upgrade. Activate commander ability. Oh, did it explode? It exploded, but it didn't collapse into his base. Okay, so this needs to be got rid of now. There we go. We turn this into a door? Yes, we can. Come on, 720 metal in a single upgrade. That's better. That's that's what we want to see. Way too much metal to have a possibility of expending it. So he doesn't really have that many weapons now, which is uh, it's good for me, not so great for him. Go ahead and fire this. Shoot through some of that. It's one bullet per piece of wood. I mean, come on. Like, come on. That's just that's just kind of a lot. It costs 5,700 energy to fire this guy. I mean, it's just too much. How much does the next upgrade on you cost? 760 metal, 1,500 energy. That's That's a lot. Like... That's a lot. So let's do it. Uh, we actually need more energy storage to keep up with this now. Ooh, teammate got out a laser and chopped his top off. That's brutal. That's, that's, that's also very brutal. We need to upgrade these now. Like, we actually need to upgrade our things in order to have the economy to sustain just this guy's existence at this point. Come on. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's a super graded sniper. It's green. All right. All right. Come on. Oh, that laser, though. Oh man, just face tanking it. It costs 7,000 energy to fire this guy, are you serious? What? Alright, alright, it's kind of a lot. Alright, let's do it. We ready? I want to see this base flatten. Fire. We, we gotta activate the commander ability just to be able to fire this guy again. Like, I can't even, I can't even afford upgrading him. It's just, just firing him. I mean, we're just tearing the base apart with this. Okay, I need so much more energy production here. Please give me this. Just expose one on top. Like, look at this. Each of these turbines is doing a ridiculous amount of... And it's still not enough. Okay, okay. He's okay. He's slanting his metal. Because he, he knows... He knows that the slanted metal helps significantly against these minigunners, but... It won't help against my teammate's sniper. I'm just going to upgrade this one, despite it being well out there. Because we kind of need the additional energy. We kind of need it a lot. Burn. Come on. Fire! Knock it down! It's not enough. It's not enough. Need more power. Like, I can't even spend my metals fast enough, because we just don't have the energy to spend things. Alright, upgrade you and you. I'm just going to go on an upgrade spree on all of my turbines. Just give me the upgrades, please. Please, give. Okay, how much energy are we making per second now? More than 500. It's going to be like 600 or something. Yeah, 620. 620 energy per second. Not enough to feed the minigun here, bro. Come on. <laughs> just, just, cle just ripping off the front of his base is what's going on here. Alright. Activate commander ability. 
upgrade these guys again. Come on, you can do it. More than 1,000 energy per second. Maybe sustains sniper? Or maybe sustains minigun here? Uh, Alright, so it, having command ability active definitely sustains him. So let's go ahead and give him one more upgrade. Now cost... Oh god, we just added like an additional 1,000 to his firing costs. I, oh jeez, what have I done? Come on. We're just kind of blowing through his base now though. So that's nice. Oh yeah, we're just just tearing through. We don't have the metal income to fire this now. It costs 500 metal to f every time I click the button to fire him. That's that's as much as an atom cannon. It costs as much as an atom cannon to fire this guy. Oh my god. It's so much. It's so much. Come on, do it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and he's gone. All right, guys. Well, that will be enough of our super upgraded minigun. And if you guys want to see more of these kind of shenanigans, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. But for now, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you guys later.